Rose K, Paper Co and SJ Florals really influenced my style this month. I wanted to keep it really easy and simple with stamps and some pens because I can't draw a beautiful floral like those ladies can. So let's get started and let's get really creative. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a ruler. I love my Jaden Zappel ruler. We're going to use a circular creator thinger. We're going to use my stencil guide and we're going to use my new notebook. I've already stuck sticky notes in to tell me what pieces of the puzzle I want to add into my pages. The other thing I'm going to be using today is a bunch of stamps with floral stamps on them. I've got a heap of them so I'm going to kind of create a bunch of different styles and then also on top of that I'm going to be using my acrylograph pens from Archer and Olive. If you haven't checked these out yet, you need to see my review because these are now my go-to pens. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a quote onto my left hand side page and what made me a little bit sad about this quote was the fact that it is an Erin Condren um, stamp pad but I love Amy Tangerine and it was a collaboration she did with Amy Tangerine. So to support Amy Tangerine I'm still using my stamps, I'm not going to throw them away but I am still very anti the Erin Condren uh, behavior. Here you can see I've stamped in my floral and I'm just coloring it in with my acrylograph black pens and then used watercolor to highlight the little bottom circle. Now onto my tracker. Again, I'm just going to stencil out three spaces. I only need three trackers for August. I'm going to pop in already stamped uh, trackers and I'm going to add the florals that I've got on my sheet here. Once I'm done, I'm going to again fill it in with the black acrylograph pen. It's such a beautiful thick acrylic pen. I'm just so in love with it and the outcome is absolutely stunning. On to my calendar. I'm really excited about this. Obviously there's about six weeks. Um, there's not really six weeks but uh, it feels like six weeks considering there's so many lines in the August month. Again I'm this time though I'm using some acrylic paint just to take up some of the space and I used some washi tape to protect my page. To my first weekly, we're just using one stamp for these. I'm going to alternate between top and bottom, so I've measured out the same number of boxes for top and bottom, and then I'm going to use one floral stamp across the top and the same one across the bottom, and I'm going to fill that in with a solid color in watercolor this time around every single one of the florals to create the boxes that we did on the previous page, but just in black. This time we're using a bit of color. This time again we're going to use the black pen and I accidentally had to stop recording because I used up all the space on my phone. So I had to delete some uh, videos before I could keep recording. So here I've just used alternate um, floral stamps down the page and again filling it in with the black ink pen. This time I'm going to use my acrylograph pens to fill in the entire square. We're going to use a set of squares across the top and this time we're going to alternate different uh, floral stamps across the top and color them in with the acrylograph pens kind of in a rainbow formation but you could use any colors that you are wanting to or are interested in. The stamps I'm using here are the Ink by Genji stamps. I absolutely love her collection of stamps.
To kind of tie into our opening page for our month, we're going to do a combination of floral um, stamps, uh, watercolor circles, and then also the black ink um, or the black acrylograph shapes down the bottom. Again, alternating top and bottom. Finally, we are going to do my brain dump page. We're going to keep it very simple and we're going to mirror very much what we saw on the opening page. I'm going to use a bit of watercolor, mix some colors together to create that, and then also the black down at the bottom. Once we're done, we'll do a full flip through from start to finish. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this very quick run through of my plan with me for August. I kept it really simple and would love to see how you recreate this beautiful monthly, these beautiful monthly spreads. Um, don't forget to tag us and use the hashtag The Art of Bujo. I would absolutely love to hear from you if you have any questions with regards to things we should cover off in our next videos. Really look forward to hearing from you and head over to Instagram and Facebook and give us a like, comment, follow and share. Thank you.